Well, the second match of the Disown 500 presents Ireland Wolves Tour of Nepal and we're all set. This is a T20 match. The two captains, Rohit Powdell Nepal, Neil Roth, the captain of Ireland Wolves and we've been also been joined by ever good dressed match referee Samir Khan. So Rohit will spin the coin. Heads is the call. We move on to India. Nepal, the first ball. There you go, a shorter one, pulled it. And a way to start off, Kushal Burtel. Shorter delivery, he loves that pace coming in towards him. And it's not a good delivery, and it's a bit too easy for Kushal Burtel just to help it round the corner. A little bit of movement down the leg side, flicks the pad, and it's going to race away for four, four leg buys. McCarthy, he has got that pace, he can generate. Now he gets to swing one away, but it's played away to the boundary. Kusal Burtil struggling against Spinner in the first game as well. Picked up and smashed, smoked in fact all the way for six. Foster introduced to the attack. Once again testing it with that shorter delivery, this time Asif Sheikh joining the party with Kusal Burtil. Well, are we here for a run fest? Well, I, I guess we will be seeing Spinners. We get this time, Foster gets his man, Asif Sake departs. Remarkable comeback. As Bertel goes to one of his favorite shots, he's a power sweeper. Doesn't really paddle or lap, he hit. That's what he's looking for there. Quick single, well run by Anil Sa. Foster to continue. There's that deep backward point again. Very good fielder. It just seems that pace on the ball has been going the distance. And then maybe Ben White can bowl a little bit more. Haven't seen any movement through the air. This is going to be a chance and taken. He's found the second wicket. Well, a much needed wicket for the Irish side. Kushal Burtel was looking aggressive. Simple, easy can f catch for few on hand. That's not much of a shorter delivery. Could not just held his balance out there. And the all-rounder made only four yesterday, but I thought he bowled nicely. Slip in place. And that's lovely from Foster. Much, much better. Just a little bit too much width this time. Sa works it into the deep. And a bit of a fumble from Hoey. Gets a cheer from the crowd. 46 for two. Nicely squirted away. Another fumble. But also back at the team hotel. So lots of celebrations. It's a big, great endeavour and enthusiasm. I love to see that hospitality. Happy birthday, they're enjoying it. This time, just trying to play on the leg side, not get that connection. Because there's no fielder outside the 30 yard circle. Anil Shah gets off with that boundary. His white has been just so impressive for me against Nepal. Six have been bowled, the power play's done. 51 for two. This time, driven. There's a fielder out there. This is back live. Oh, brilliantly played. Straight back. It oh, this is a slog. This is a pure slog. This has gone miles up. The keeper underneath it and eventually takes a very good catch. One too many for him. He got a boundary in the previous ball. Anil Shah had to depart for just making 12 runs. So Captain Powdell went for a slog. It was a slow delivery, a great comeback by Fionn. Gushan wants to come back for the second run, Rohit not interested at all. Towards the offside, not the best of connections, the ball will slowly roll over the rope. It's Netherlands. This time a good delivery. They're looking for two. And they would easily get it. But the throw was on the other side. The man on your screen just before. He paddled it. it. Will be stopped. Won't go to the boundary, but they will home five minute presents Ireland Wolves tour of Nepal. E20s to be played against the senior side. Testing length this for Gulshan and not good feeling at all. Not good fielding at all. They come back for the when the crowd gets behind them. 
A beautiful delivery this by Gavin Hoy. That was asking for punishment and Gulshan Jha dispatches it all the way out of the ground. Spectacular shot there by Gulshan Jha. We're just waiting for that ball. That bottom hand coming into play from Gulshan Jha. Look at it. So the highlights so far. Plenty of boundaries for Nepal. They started in a flying fashion. And then a few wickets. Three wickets in total. That's what we believe. Change in bowling. Comes around the wicket. Easily played towards the onside. They're looking for the second run. Rohit Podil stops Gulshan. That was intentional, I believe. This time it was a filler delivery driven and driven fine by Rohit Kumar Podil. A brilliant shot. Shot. Uppercut. One bounce over the rope. Another boundary this for Rohit Podil. So 23 for Gulshan, Rohit, 18 of 10. Asif Sikh. This time swept it. Ah, uh, there was effort out there. Brilliant batting this. He's looking for the second run. He comes back for the second run. Is there a chance? No. Wonderfully completed two runs this. Rohit Powell. Oh, this time a quicker one. Brilliant delivery. Completely opened up Gulshan Jha. Shorter one this time. A little too wide. Plenty of work to do for the fielder there. This is how Gavin Hoy saved, received two runs for his team. Was powerfully struck by Gulshan. Just cut very, very firmly. Been brilliant display of batsmanship from the right and left hand duo. Hammers this. Where has this gone? Pull shots around that mid wicket reason. Absolutely, Ayushan. He has been shot in length occasionally, and Gulshan Jha will enough to go all the way. Slices this time, not gone all the way at all. No, is the call sent back, directed. Would have sent Gulshan back, in fact. That was right in the slot and over the fence. Very good afternoon, Sachin. Good afternoon, everyone. Gulshan Jazz just taking a little while to warm up, but this is going to be a repeat of the dose. Bang, bang, six, six. Oh, he's warming up beautifully, isn't he? That's Mac Ben White for two sixes of the V. First two deliveries of his third over. Won't be another big one in a mix-up. Can he play the big innings now? Googly, and he's given it away. Point again, it's the Googly. Out of the hitting arc, clever piece of bowling. He was already... We want to see some bit of Bivik Yadav today. Quickly taken single, is it? Yes, it is. Nice to see the tiger smiling, always oh, smiling, isn't he, defender Singh Iri? No ball. That's a no ball, and Rohit Pordel has pulled this for a boundary as well, so insult to injury. I was just about to say, what a good over from Matthew Foster. Vinay Kumar Jha, eagle eyed, the second no ball from Foster. The first one went for a maximum, this time helped around the corner. But goes a long way up, but no real distance. Won't be out, remember, even if it's taken, which it is. Excellent fielding from Ross Adair. Though so he was starting to learn a better pace to bowl. Goes a long way up. Now has Mala got enough of this? He has. It's going to go all the way for six. He goes after this again. Was a shorter delivery. Has he got enough? Yes. Two consecutive sixes. In fact, this is a bigger one. They'll have known about Mala and his high strike rate. Career has gone for six. And you might make that three straight down the ground. Six, six, and now six more. This is awesome. This is audacious. How can he respond? Googly, clever bowling, but even better batting. 
This is slap straight to the man at extra cover. Gavin Ho, he gets a bit of relief. Played a good knock of 33 and he has been dismissed in this fashion. Was short, was there to be hit, in fact. Sandeep Chor is at the non-striker's end. The atmosphere was amazing, Andrew. Driven to, towards the offside. It's like Sri Lanka and Pakistan. Yeah, well bowled by hand into the surface. It's maybe the one weak area you would say. Driven down the ground. Misfield. Not the first time we've seen this from Marius Fielders. The ball will just make it to the rope. I think it might have kissed the rope anyway. I'm just glad he hasn't done himself any damage. Ireland's fielding needs to improve. From Kushal Malla. And this time he doesn't hesitate at all. This has gone many miles. This is the biggest off the bat of Kushal Malla today. Isaac, Vivian, Alexander Richards maybe. Straight down the ground. As straight as an arrow. All the way. One into the side screen in the last over, this time over the side screen. Look out, cameraman. Pumped down the ground again. Not going to be six this time, it'll be four. Extra cover, too. So Mallet tries to hit it to the shorter side, but I think he's given it away. Clever bowling, clever plans from Ben White. Well, innovation. <laughs> it's Sundeep Jura. It's four runs. Interesting shot that from Sandeep Zora. Pulls it this time, Vivek Yadav. Will only be a single. Brilliant length this, but very, very well timed. The shot was so perfect from Sandeep Zora. So this is going to be a free hit. <laughs> Smoked. This one's marmalized. The connection right, and the ball has landed outside the ground. There was somebody underneath it. Could have taken it, could have taken it, or oh, dropped it. A real chance, last ball of the innings, here we go. Gonna be a wicket, I think, to round things out. So Ireland themselves off to their travels to India, then Oman, and on to Sachin, maybe talk us through these seven wickets that we'll show you now. The series 2-0, before going on to play, I think it's with CSNI. There's just been a couple of innings there, and though. There is that power down the ground. This is what Ireland want Adair to do. Set the tempo in the first six. 50, 100 and say, you've got to bring me to Oman. And that competition for places. Structure that Paris Kadka and his team have put in. Going to be massive, just like that stroke from Ross Adair. Really good. Adair again, spending around that in 2022. In Starts in some real style too, doesn't he? Top score. What to start your innings. Smashed out of the ground for six. So look at that. The ball was short. Just played his stand and deliver. And that's the power that Adair possesses. You can see Ireland are learning. Talking about the bottom hand of Adair coming into play. Early in the power play overs. Offering that room. Yeah, maybe Kushal Bertel too. There's some innovation, just helped around the corner. This is the thing I love about Stephen Dohan, he's a 360 degree player. The experienced duo of Karen Casey and... Dohan, he's very strong there. Really likes that stroke. Impressively, hasn't he? Stephen Dohan, he's 16 off just five. It's that nice back of a length. Here's the Manhattan chart indicating that Off the slower spinners. No! Good fielding from. Again, exactly there. That's what I'm talking about. Just playing according to the field set, giving himself room to go over that long on reason. This is going to be interesting following on the matchups. This time, wide extra cover. They're hitting in the V, Ireland. Oh, honey, he knows that long off is wide, but gets it past him. Been great to get those players back from county cricket into Irish cricket. Ross Adair has been given a few opportunities. Struggled a little bit against the spinners. He also played. Oh, time for a selfie too. And what I think is giving a great partnership and friendship in years to come. Dohani looks to go down the ground, but he loses his shape. Powdle nestles underneath it and takes the catch. Sombal Kami. 
43 for one. And then again, spin, he has problems. And he's going to perish. Gulshan Jha takes the catch. And it's two wickets. Look at that shot. You were just trying to play around that off stump reasons. Straight in the hands of Gulshan Jha. Not much of pace in the offer. Well, Ross Adar goes. Did you see that up in, up in Northern Ireland? One of the great things about Irish cricket, like the hockey team. And going to see more seam into the attack now. Gulshan Jha. It's flicked into the leg side. Eyeballs on Nepali cricket. And for Gulshan Jha, he just... You need empathy and care for your players, and that's you exactly... Do when your player is not in a, a good run, like... Yeah, fully agree. He's still so young as well. <laughs> People forget how young he is. When you think about some of the scenarios and situations he's been placed into. They're going to get an overthrow here. So even if they're not getting runs at one phase, they'll still contribute. Can take some time in the middle because they had not had that good run in the first game. They have learned from it. They need, just need to take some time. But just see if you're hitting Kushal Burtel, you need to hit him. Top edge. Where has this gone? Land safely. Oh, look at the turn in that delivery. Comes in. Slashes this really hard. Fourteen off the last over. Top edge again. Realize that the fielder at the final leg was inside the circle of Inash. Well, this is what we are talking. They need to settle in. Once again, going towards the end of the boundary. Well, if you are. This time a brilliant delivery. Picking up wickets. Uh, this time it was a quicker through the air. They're looking for that run. Cut. Straight to the fielder. You just see smiling Rohit Kumar's body for topping. Short off length delivery. Brilliant York at this, right in the block hole. A brilliant delivery. On the good length area this time, only a single again. So when will they think that it is about time to use the long handle? That's the question. It's going to be a difficult ask, but with eight wickets in hand, and the leg spinner will continue. Up in the air, he's played against the turn. Does it have enough? No, it hasn't. Anil Shah, safe as a house. An easy catch out there for Anil Kumar Shah. Easily, eventually. 18 of 18 for Carmichael. Ball off his second over. This came back in real sharp. 122 required of 50 balls. Swept really well. Much like it. Much like it. Easy pickings for Neil Rock. This would certainly add confidence to the skipper. Seven of four for Neil Rock. The captain has come in. Avinash Bora again with this lower bouncer. He's pulled it very beautifully. Desperate dive this from Kushal Burtel. He stopped it. Karan Casey pulled it back and threw it to the keeper. 14.93. Credit needs to be given to Avinas Bora the way he has balled Sachin because he was struggling with. So 110 needed off the last 42 balls, seven overs to go. If the batter comes down the track, they realize it and just. They just now slow the pace of the game. And just ball those dot deliveries. Well, that's not a good delivery. That had to be punished and is punished rather easily this time from the Ireland skipper. Was a full toss, a nothing delivery really. Trying to stop the ball, but that was just a gift. Just rotating the strike after. Rightly so, because the Ireland Wolves side, they need more than 15 and over. This is played up, Pishley. See, he just hits the ball so cleanly. This one might not have enough on it, though. That required run rate, all the pressure going on. Putting the Irish captain into too much of pressure here. He had to go. Irish skipper departs. 
And Delaney tries to go downtown. No real timing whatsoever. Put down! Caught it 99 and a half times out of 100. Cuts this time. No, no. Will only Hit well. But this time taken. Bertels dropped the sitter. And he's held on to a tough one. And just it to perfection. Has taken this catch. And Delaney score is 100, 104 for 5. Wide delivery again, four in this over. And Ireland, second one that's been a judge not to carry. We are gonna now see another wicket, as Morgan toppings rather. Far more deliveries, far too many deliveries to get to his 21. And he has been dismissed in this fashion. Ball really wide outside the off stump. Asif Sekh had to do was grab the ball and stump it out. Gavin Hoey into the crease and immediately takes an aggressive option. You're not going to lie, Sachin. This was a this like moment of controversy. You and I both thought this was out. And believe that fingers were underneath the ball, and the ball went to the same fielder both the times. All three of them for me were a bit flat today. Good use of the feet from Howie, but has he got enough of it? Not even close. And it's that lack of pace from Mallet. Flying send off. As Delaney tries to get some late joy by pongoing that one through the offside. A boundary only by a whisker. It's great to have the Yorker up your sleeve. Did it hit the bat? Yes, it did. Scoring 199 is not easy. Stop, is it? I don't quite know how to describe it. It's not, not a mid off. Delaney goes inside out over extra. Man out there, but Andrew believes that this match nicely played down the ground. I'm getting called Taklu Dai more than I'm getting called Andrew of late on the recent visits. Slow one, heaved up. Does it have enough? No, this has not been Ireland Wolves' day at all. He looks to have been the only one that's possessed a technique to succeed. Gareth Delaney's going to get four here, but. Interesting today, isn't it? No Lalit Rajbanshi, no Dependra Singh Iri. Will be used in the death overs for sure. A ball him. Baller. The middle stump out of the ground. And it's going to go cartwheeling here. Keep an eye on it. Ben White has been juggled and caught. And maybe a run out at the non strikers end for good measure. Sampal Kami's got two and two. He's nearly got three and two. Even catching cover. In, he's on a hat trick. Here we go. Can he finish in grand style? Not quite. Could be a run out. It will be a run out. We'll call it a team hat trick. It was nearly four and three. Off you go to India. Off you go to Oman. And then you go to the World Cup. These national heroes, they've done it all here today. Bundled out for only 127. Won by 71 runs in the Nepali side. This has been a very, very convincing victory.